Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be my pickups for the months of January and February 2022. Um, as I explained in the belated Christmas package video for my buddy Dale, uh, these last two months weren't too, like, too heavy, um, just because my dad and I were in the process of moving, and I didn't want to add to the overall packing and unpacking with, you know, more stuff. And then I have to remember, wait, is this just going to just go on the shelf already, or do I have to show that in a video? What, what, which way? No. I wanted to wait till we were actually moved in before I did any serious buying. So, <clears throat> with that said, let's uh, get started. Uh, first, I got one Funko Pop uh, these last two months. And uh, that is Anakin Skywalker. Uh, this is the Clone Wars cartoon version of him. Um, I'm glad to finally have him because um, the original original run, I guess, of this particular set, like he was like one for like sixty seven dollars plus uh, in box. I'm like, fuck that! I'm not paying that much for a Funko Pop. Screw, with, screw that. So, <clears throat> I saw that there was this uh, place that was doing like a second, I guess, a second run. So, uh, I pre ordered, pre -ordered a copy and uh, they had it sent to uh, Cindy's place because it was supposed to be sent out in January, which was going to be around the time where I was, you know, moving. So, I sent it to her place. And uh, she sent it my way with my uh, Valentine's Day and anniversary stuff. So, yeah, glad to finally uh, have him, for sure. <clears throat> uh, now will be uh, games. First, for the Nintendo Switch, I picked up Dying Light. Platinum Edition. Um, I've heard it's a very decent port, surprisingly. Um, I've not played it just yet. Um, I did finish my Xbox One uh, copy a couple weeks ago. So uh, I'm looking forward to going through that uh, fresh on the Switch. So, yeah. It was cheap. I think it was, I think it was 30 bucks. So, not bad. <coughs> Next. Picked up a Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, a lot of people have enjoyed her. her uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, have been enjoying this game. I'm very, like, very, 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 very early on, uh, not because I don't want to play it. I've just been, you know, with the move and all that, and getting adjusted. I haven't really been in the mood to really play much of anything really. So uh, I'm looking forward to actually, you know, sitting down and actually, you know going through it. So. <clears throat> Next. Uh, this, 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 and another game were my most uh, extensive purchases these last two months. As far as, <clears throat> you know, gaming. So. Uh, that is uh, Diablo 3, the Eternal Collection on Switch. Um, this was about a 60 bucks uh, used, which, considering that brand new, it goes for like over $100 plus of an ale. <coughs> but yeah, this is the main game, plus the expansions, plus some exclusive uh, armor based on Ganondorf, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. It's good to finally uh, take that off the list. And then finally, uh, for the last switch game, switch, uh, the last switch game I got uh, these last two months from uh, limited limited run games, Crisis Three Remastered. Now this is not a part of their set; they just published the game, or yeah, published, released, or whatever. They did the physical copy of it, basically. So, and I have Crisis One, Two, and Three, One and Two already. 
So, of course, I don't want them to get three. So, <clears throat> next for uh, Xbox One, uh, I picked up Ghostbusters the video game. Uh, this was 14, 14, I think 14, 15, around there. Uh, McCurry, so uh, I wanted to grab it. So I was, I was really big into Ghostbusters for how I got this because the, the, the uh, new movie was coming out. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to grab it. So. Next. Also for Xbox One, uh, he finally picked up Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I played this, I've played this before. I borrowed it from a friend uh, at work. I enjoyed it. It was, it was pretty decent for the most part. I don't think it's like mind blowing, but for the for, for what it is, it's decent. It's all right. So, <clears throat> next, uh, <clears throat> first, uh, this is the first thing. Uh, the first thing. This is the first of four things that my girlfriend sent me for anniversary in Valentine's Day, and uh, that is Greedfall Gold Edition on Xbox One slash Series X. Um, I originally wanted to get this on PS5 whenever I get a PS5, but uh, I chose Xbox because the PS5 version of this, the DLC, is on a voucher. It's on a <coughs> voucher, whereas the Xbox version of the DLC is on the disc, so... I really don't have that. So, um, but all I know of this game is it's a somewhat, uh, it's an RPG. That's what all I know about it, but it looks fun. So, then, this was the other game she sent me, um, as before on PS4, but, uh, I got that game for free, kind of, sort of, and uh, when I played it, I was enjoying it, I was enjoying it for the most part, but I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm just kind of like getting, I'm kind of like done with this for a while, and I needed, to try, I needed the credit for something else, so I figured, fuck it, I'll just, you know, trade it and, you know, trade it in, and I'll get it again, you know, later down the line, and uh, I didn't have to this time, so... Technically, I got this. Technically speaking, I got this game for free twice, and uh, that is <clears throat> Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. So like I said, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the most. Part. I enjoyed it the most. Yeah, I enjoyed it for the most part when I hit it the first time, but after a while, I was just like, eh, just I'm just not really feeling it at the moment. So yeah. <clears throat> Next, uh, for PS4, uh, I picked up Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Um, I heard this game is I heard this game is very terrible. However, I got it for two reasons. One, it was cheap. It was fifteen bucks, brand new. Secondly, I think it looked fun. It looks it looked and does look fun. So I said, fuck it. Maybe once I actually play it, I'll, I'll see that, yeah, oh yeah, this game is terrible. But uh, so far, from what I've played, or from what I've played, from what I've seen, it looks fun. So. <clears throat> and finally, for last game I got this month, or these last two months, should I say, um, I picked up Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon 2 Forbidden West. Uh, this is the special edition on PS4. Um, it was with the still book and the art book, or eight art book, some DLC, some stuff like that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I was very excited for this game. Very excited, as you can see, collector's edition, first game, right up there. So, I'm very excited. Um, not that fun to it, mainly because my first copy of this was stolen. That was annoying. Uh, it was supposed to be delivered uh, Friday when it came out. 
I didn't have them. It wasn't delivered till Tuesday. And I was like, okay, well, that's great. That's, that's good. I'm off Wednesday. Like, I'll get home. I'll relax. I'll pop it in and install. Maybe I'll start it up, start, start it up a little bit of it. And then play more of it the next day because I'm off. I don't do anything. Well, no, that didn't happen because it was stolen. Thankfully, though, <coughs> I called Wednesday. I called Best Buy up to explain the situation. They were able to uh, find me a replacement at my local Best Buy. So, uh, that's pretty good. <coughs> so, I have since started it. I'm not that far into it, but uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. Enjoying it immensely. <coughs> now, on to movies. First, picked up Angels and Demons on 4K. Um, this is the technically the sequel to Da Vinci Code, but chronologically speaking, in book, for, book, in book form, Angels and Demons is the first book, technically speaking. But uh, the movie was pretty decent. Um, I've not read the books, my dad has, but uh, the movies I thought I think are pretty interesting to say the least, so yeah, I wanted it. <clears throat> Next, picked up the Green Knight on 4K. Um, heard some, I've heard pretty good things about it, and it looks pretty interesting. So I wanted to grab it. And it was cheap too. So <clears throat> next, picked up Dune, uh, Dune Part One. Because that's what it's technically, technically called. And not watched this just yet. But, uh, I don't want to just grab it to watch because I've never seen the original or the book. So, looking forward to watching that. Uh, <clears throat> Next, I picked up Sherlock Holmes. And Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows on 4K. I love these movies. Um, uh, Sherlock, or uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law, great chemistry. And the uh, third one is supposed to be coming soonish. So I wanted to grab them. Like I said, they're pretty damn good movies. <clears throat> Next, picked up Sugar Island. Um, honestly, I've never, I've never seen this movie. It was cheap. I do know the twist. But, uh, I kept I really picked it up because it was cheap. So, and people uh, say it's pretty good. So, <clears throat> next, picked up an absolute classic that I've only seen once in, in its entirety. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it, you know, elsewhere, but I've only seen, I've only seen it once in its entirety. first debating and picking this up, I was debating, do I, get, do I get it or do I wait for like a 4K collection of the other, of the sequels? I'm like, mm, yeah, it's, it's just, the, just the first movie, is that, that's all I need when it comes to Jaws, so, yeah, Jaws, great movie, classic movie. <coughs> Next, picked up Knives Out on 4K. Uh, I believe this was Ryan Johnson's movie after The Last Jedi. Uh, heard good things about it. It was cheap. And the sequel is supposed to be coming out soon, I believe, on Netflix. So, why the hell not? Next, picked up Speed on 4K. Uh, one of Keanu Reeves's, it's, I'd say, underappreciated action movies. Because he's more, he's more known for The Matrix and obviously now John Wick for action. But uh, John Wick, or but, uh, Speed, definitely, definitely it's up there. So, I wanted to grab that. <coughs> These are probably the last uh, three, four key movies I got in the last two months. Picked up. How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your Dragon 2, and How to Train Your Dragon 3. Uh, 
three uh, uh, non-Pixar uh, animated movies that are actually quite quite good. They're, they really are top notch for sure. So yeah, I wanted to grab those. <coughs> Next, <coughs> my dad surprised me with this uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I um, have not been not watched it yet. Um, I was planning on picking this up on 4K because I have the others on 4K. So I will probably upgrade at a later date. But for now, this is just fine. So but I've heard heard good things. Next, uh, picked up Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Saw this in theaters. Thought overall, overall thought it was fine. Uh, could have been, could have been, could, have been, could have been better. Yes, but overall, it was it was overall it was decent in my opinion. So, I'd like to see a sequel. Kind of expand on expand expand on uh, the uh, story. Expand on the story, but what happened? Don't know yet. But overall, I thought it was fine. I was entertained by it. <coughs> Next. Finally picked up Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. This is the uh, <clears throat> Netflix uh, anime special TV show thing. Uh, I have not watched it yet because I was waiting for a physical. Kind of physical. Bought it. So I'll be definitely watching that relatively soon. Next, uh, from my girlfriend, she sent me both. Hulk 2003 and Daredevil, uh, Matt Damon, uh, uh, Matt Affleck. So with these two, all I need from my MCU collection or my Marvel collection, all I need besides uh, besides the few uh, MCU movies that are still that need to be that have been released. Um, the, the only old Marvel movie I still need now is uh, Electra. So, that'll be nice. I'll probably finish that subset. And then finally, the last movie I got here this month, this these last two months, picked up the Dyer Collection. This is all five films um, <coughs> of this franchise. Um, Die Hard 3 is my favorite. Um, I still need to see the last one, but uh, out of all of them, Die Hard 3 is definitely my favorite. Just the uh, whole chemistry with the, uh, between Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis was just amazing. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, the brain fart. Uh, Simon, uh, Hans Gruber, Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber's brother is the villain. <coughs> Top notch. Uh, overall, pretty cool collection. So, <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> that is it. That is all my pickups for the months of January and February, uh, twenty twenty-two. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, it was decent this time. Um, <clears throat> please be on the lookout for March's video because. March's video is going to be pretty cool, pretty, pretty good. I was finally successful in finally getting something, so, little tease. But with that said, I will see you guys next time.